This video, we will discuss and, and talk about the KSI vary rate system. Um, this, the KSI vary rate is a seed metering device where we use loss and weight from the scale to meter the seeds through the treater. The uh, purpose of the vary rate is to accurately and um, correctly um, deliver uh, what the user has requested um, as a pounds per minute tr uh, seed treating rate. Um, and not only to deliver that, but also to apply the treatment to match that seed uh, delivery rate. So for example, if on the order setup you request 2,000 pounds per minute to be delivered through the treater, and when you start your system, your um, system is going to deliver from the scale 2,000 pounds per minute. However, if there is a obstruction in the scale hopper that uh, the seed flow changes to 800 pounds per minute for whatever reason, the pumps will follow that and will begin applying at 800 pounds per minute um, as opposed to the 2,000 pounds per minute that was requested on the order. So with that in mind, let's jump right into the, um, the on-screen demo um, in your video. What we are looking at is the home page. Again, this looks just like the standard V3.2.1 auto treat system. There is not any difference in the way the system operates, the way you set up an order, the way you manage customers and recipes. Your, the KSI Auto Data database is exactly the same. Your device settings are the same. Um, any device can be accessed by um, selecting and clicking on the device, which will open up parameters related to that device where you can view and make changes. So let's go ahead and jump to the scale page where we will look at, at the scale, the scaling system with the vary rate, the, the vary rate um, system revolves around this scale. We are using loss and weight from the scale um, to um, deliver the amount of the uh, desired uh, seed rate. So this scale um, is going to be that uh, part of the system that is going to deliver and monitor that rate. From the scale, um, we will be monitoring in the system, monitoring the scale rate um, as it discharges from the scale um, 10 times per second. So as we see the rate of change change, the, the gate that is on that that's on your uh, scale hopper is going to make minute changes to within one thousandth of an inch to adjust that gate slightly open or close to get closer uh, to the target. As the rate changes through the hopper, for whatever reason, that gate will make fine adjustments to that system. As we can see on the on the scale page, we have some additional information down here on the bottom. This field on the left is gate position. This position strictly just tells you the how far open or closed that gate is, the percentage that it is open. So if the um, as you're treating, you're treating at 1,600 pounds per minute and the gate position shows 30%, that means that your gate is open 30% to deliver 1,600 pounds per minute. As you increase the rate, this percentage will increase as the gate needs to be farther open to deliver the higher rate. The field in the middle is the discharge rate set point. This is the set point that you have set on your order. Um, so if you have requested 1,600 pounds per minute or 1,800 pounds per minute or 2,600 pounds per minute, that set point, this, that will show up right here. The field on the right is the actual discharge rate. So this is going to give you a live, a live readout as well as up here, right under the pounds, of the actual pounds per minute that is flowing through the scale. So if you're targeting 1,800 pounds per minute, this field right here and this field right here are going to bounce around slightly, but it should be very close to 1,800 pounds per minute as it, it delivers seed through the treater. This is a live reading that is being updated continually. If we click on KG290, it opens up the HOA, the handoff auto control for that gate. As we can see, we have a slider bar here on the right that lets us manually control um, how far open we want this gate to be. As we can see, as we move this slider bar, we're adjust, we, we can see the position down here being changing as well as right here. So if we have this gate open and we're running it manually, we can set it to 75% open. Um, 
this position percentage is automatically determined by your system um, while you're treating seeds, so we want this to be an auto. Let's look at the treater page. The treater page, again, looks very similar to any other auto treat page that you're used to seeing. The only difference would be we have the atomizer and we do not have a seed wheel. The seed wheel is, uh, is not needed. The seed wheel is also a seed metering device, which is what Varate is. So you do not need both the seed wheel and the Varate uh, system. So if you have Varate, that seed wheel is not here. It's not showing. There is no motor for that. There is no device for that. Um, again, we can see here we have our discharge rate set point, what we are targeting, and what is actually happening. The pumps work exactly the same, except instead of monitoring their liquid and matching the liquid liquid from the feedback from the seed wheel, we're matching the liquid to the feedback we're receiving from the vary rate, from that rate of change that we're seeing from the scale. The treater setup is, other than that, is identical. And we can go lastly to the loadout page where we can see the same thing. We have a discharge rate set point showing and an actual discharge rate pounds per minute. With the vary rate system, there is no uh, seed wheel cow measurement that is needed. So we don't, there is no conversion from weight to volume because we are just running based on weight. So we do not need the seed wheel cow weight in the bin. As you can see, if we go in here to tank one and we go into the parameters on it, 777, the seed wheel cow weight is set at 1,000 grams. However, that number is not used. It's just ignored in the vary rate system and auto adjust has no, um, it does not have any value as well because there is no seed wheel to adjust. Again, the vary rate system, um, basically, if you are used to running auto treat with a seed wheel and versus an auto treat with a vary rate, um, the, the typical operating procedure is no different. Um, there is nothing that you do differently as an operator except for the fact that there is no calibrating of the seed wheel. There is no adjustment or cal factor that needs to be entered um, because the, the vary rate is going to look at the total weight on the scale, 5,000 pounds, and every um, multiple times per second it's going to get that new weight and calculate the rate of change and then adjust the gate and the pump to match that rate. So this concludes our B3.2.1 auto-treat vary rate demo.